If you don't hurry, I'll be napping soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, move up here and I'll keep keep getting two minutes and keep awake. <laughs> cool. All right, everybody. Hello, my name is Pauline Carnes, um, and I represent a shear based product from Highland. And so um, I do not have the presentation skills like Colleen does, so she's always a tough act to follow. So uh, bear with me, there is no no fun Autobots this time around. But uh, I did want to share quickly what, what the share based product is, how are some of our customers using it today, and really what does it mean to you and why should you be done care on this end, okay? Um, so just starting at the beginning, share base is our file sync and share product that Highland has developed. So as Colleen talked a little bit about the on-base product, uh, we developed that. Uh, and then we also developed Sharebase uh, maybe three years ago. So that's not a product that we've purchased or acquired through any of our acquisitions. We actually developed it from ground up. And the reason behind it is that a lot of organizations are moving towards not only managing their content, as what we've heard from OnBase, but there's also a certain level of content creation and collaboration. Uh, you look at Microsoft's suite of products, right? Uh, they're trying to bring all of that together, but they're missing that content management piece uh, that they're trying to do with Share, uh, SharePoint, as Colleen mentioned. But um, we looked at the solution and said, you know, how can we empower our users not only to get your business done, but do it in a secure manner as well, which a lot of times speaks to you in the room here, right? As a basic user, I don't really care how I get my content. Uh, it's you with the IT that's in the room that's going to hold on. We have compliance, we have certain tracking, like we gotta make sure that it's all up to par. Um, so this is really where ShareBase can solve those needs. It allows uh, organizations to provide a secure method of storing content, of sharing that content with uh, visibility for your IT department that you may not have today, or maybe it's a little harder to get that visibility. And so when we talk about how organizations share content today, this is similar in the experience that uh, Colleen described, right? We've got the email where your employees are trying to share content, or maybe they're utilizing their own personal cloud solutions like Dropbox or Google Drive. Uh, there's also a number of different sites that you might have already stood up to try to manage some of this content and gain visibility, whether that's sharing content through FTP sites or maybe you've built your own SharePoint sites. Uh, at one point in time, we, we joked around that Highland has as many SharePoint sites as we did employees, uh, just because it was a way for us to provide access to content both internally in our organization and externally. But then when you think about content, what do you do with it when it's internal only? When it should be just viewed by employees and not uh, changed or in any form shared? Uh, today, or uh, actually a couple years ago when I emailed marketing, I said, hey, can I get that PowerPoint you've done at an event? It was great. They gave me their network share location and said, please don't delete anything in my folder. Right? That's not really a secure method of sharing because now I have access to their network folder. So this is where we believe that ShareBase is most definitely uh, the way to securely not only share content, but also collaborate on content, giving you that visibility. Sharebase deployments are set up by the IT, by that site administrator. This isn't something that I can go on Google and find an account just like I can with Dropbox or Box account. So it's entirely managed by the corporate enterprise, and you're the one that create the users. So if you're using Active Directory or any single sign-on methods today, it would integrate with Sharebase for easier user control. And you also maintain that control because there's certain defaults that you can sh set up on the deployment. So for instance, which departments should have the right to share to external users versus who should be internal users only? Uh, there's a number of different security measures, of secu uh, security measures such as password expiration. If you share something externally today via a, an attachment in an email, even if you want it to be view only, really it just means save as. Right? If that PDF, uh, just they, anybody externally can say that and reuse it or upload it to a, a number of sites and misuse it years later. Uh, we have a way for you to self-clean that through ShareBase. Um, I also have a screenshot I'll show you later too when uh, you could utilize a watermark feature when it's supposed to be view only and how do you protect it from today's technology such as your phone. The camera is so good that I can take a screenshot of the presentation and do what, what I want with it later. And last but not least, 
you're able to empower your users. So while you gain all that visibility and control, there's a certain level that you can allow your users to have control as well. Granular permissions, access from their mobile device on the go, right? Especially today as we're facing an emergency, could somebody just go across the street and work on their information? Today, not so much. They're not gonna be able to take their workstation with them, but if their content was in ShareBase, could they just work off site? And so not only does it provide the users with the tool that they need, but again, it provides you with oversight and it's really easy to maintain as well. So it's not just another product that you're gonna to have to learn and maybe dedicate uh, a specific support person to. ShareBase is housed in the Highland Cloud. We're a privately managed cloud. Uh, we are not Azure, we are not AWS. We have our own cloud infrastructure where we house on-base customers, large healthcare organizations, um, large government organizations and so we do go through a number of different audits and security measures that we're able to share with you to prove all of that and all the content is secure because it's uh, encrypted so we encrypt individual deployments and we also encrypt your content at motion and at rest and so that's important because if you're trying to encrypt emails today in order to protect your content that's one less step you'd have to do the content itself is already encrypted and the power of ShareBase, not only can it be utilized as a standalone solution, as we just described with all the control pieces, but it integrates with your on-base solution as well to leverage some of those security measures to share your on-base content. And so I have a number of use cases where I'll show you what that looks like as well in order to provide that complete solution like Pauline talked about. Rather than living in different silos, how can you bring it all together to solve a problem? And so, uh, not only is ShareBase in the Highland Cloud, but with the on-base piece, it does give you the complete solution that you can utilize through our workflow. So this does enhance your business processes where the users, rather than having to navigate between different software features, they're able to actually do it all from one area. And the sharing of the content really happens behind the scenes where you actually set it up and you put certain default permissions. So you're able to share the content, you're able to bring content back into OnBase into a, uh, via a secure method, and then for compliance purposes, if you have any type of data management retention policies, we also have a delete action that allows you to purge all the content from all those external shared parties and keep it all in OnBase as your one true repository for all of your information. So that's it on the introduction of the product. I really wanted to show you how our customers are using it today. So, um, do any of you have to deal with contractual business processes? Do you have to deal with um, either negotiating of the contracts or helping those that negotiate the contracts, right? Compliance purposes. So, this is just a quick example of what a non disclosure agreement looks like uh, via on base and share base interaction. So for simple measures, I just uploaded a non-disclosure uh, non agreement into our workflow. We have created a couple of rights where, for my demo purposes, they're ad hoc. I have to press the button, but we could completely automate this uh, via a process behind the scenes to say, once a document was reviewed and you say, okay, approved, there could be an action behind it that says approve and share through, uh, to someone else. In this example, I need to share this NDA with an external party, receive any red lines back into the ID system to complete my process. I've created a quick form where I can type in the email address of the external recipient. However, it could pull from any of your other systems that you already have. And so whether it's a contract that I'm sharing, maybe it's a number of documents that you're sharing with external parties, it would work in a similar fashion where it can pull some of the metadata from your different uh, systems you use today. We put in a custom notification where I have both at the download location of that NDA and I also provided an upload location separately to retrieve any red lines and so that way there is no confusion. If you've ever had to negotiate anything via email, sometimes people <laughs> enter the wrong email or maybe you sent two emails quickly and they're, they're replying to the old negotiations. That can be pretty difficult in trying to maintain or even untangle after the fact. And I'm in sales, and so that's really difficult if someone's negotiating a sales contract on the wrong <laughs> stuff. I talked about security measures. You can password protect and authenticate access for the external recipient at no extra charge. So I know, for instance, if you're trying to password protect a PDF, you might actually have to have a separate license for the password protection, and so only a few people can do that. Here, 
you as an IT set it up behind the scenes to say these links that, or this content that's going to be shared externally will go, go out with a password. Now that password, you can create that, whether you want to pull it from some type of a metadata, maybe you hard code a password, maybe it's a unique identifier number of the party you're working with, that's optional for you. And the external recipient gains access into that document. So they can use the web browser to preview the document right there, and then if they have the Microsoft Office suite, they can download it and provide any type of uh, red lines that they wish. We also allow branding of that experience as well. So I went in, found your level online, <laughs> and uh, I was able to brand that experience. So there's a third party, they're gonna look at this, and not only for marketing purposes, they see it came from you, but also trust, right? They know that they got the right link from the right party. I make my changes at Word, in this case I change the date, and then I can go uh, save it locally, and when I go back to my email, I now use the upload location to bring the document in. So I can either browse out for the files, drag and drop. You can bring in as many files as you want. The key to the solution is that it's driven by one document type. Okay, so I can actually assign metadata to this folder and say when content comes into this folder, an on base it's gonna show up as this particular document with these do, uh, keywords because I pre-configured all of that ahead of time. So the huge time saver in, in this uh, is the fact that I didn't have to do any kind of indexing once the document came back in. We pre-configured it all ahead of time for the process and when that document came back in, in this case I made it revisable. So now on the right hand side you can see that this is version 2 of 2 and utilizing on base additional capabilities I can now compare both the first version and the second. And so I can see quickly that those were the changes that have been made. So if any of your legal department is uh, going line by line today doing it themselves, utilizing OnBase can empower them to use the tools already designed for that and save time and also remove any kind of errors uh, from manually comparing items. Can you think of anyone that could use this? Some handshakes? <laughs> the one person front and center? Absolutely. So this is a different screenshot uh, of what we've done with case management and contract management. My example before was simply document driven, right? I send a document, I bring it back. And I had to do all the work myself. But can, share, uh, can Unbase help you with some of that information? So we've designed an application using our case management capabilities to where I can pull certain information from your existing systems or existing profiles. I could assign tasks to individual members, so if you have a team of five, today you might be sticking post-it notes on their computers or calling them, but could you set up tasks automatically in the system? And as you go through the process, we've given you just a quick little look of different icons that will turn color based on where the process is. It can be as simple as this non-disclosure agreement, or it can be as complicated as anything you need with addendums and um, changing that around. I don't, <laughs> I don't work in legal a whole lot, but I know it can be very complicated when you try to negotiate different contracts. So you can see that each step was completed and it's in the green, and now we're moving forward. Anybody that has uh, been assigned a specific action, you can see who it is, any additional notes, it's all managed in one system as opposed to uh, trying to collect everything else. You can even attach emails as well. And the piece that drives all of this at the end is the fact that all the content can be shared through ShareBase and in this particular case management application we captured the link that was created. So you're actually able to see that right in the case management application where you can go in and say, aha, this contract has been shared, here's the link, here's where they're bringing information back in. So it can be simple, can get complicated, really depends on what the needs that are that you have. And from the IT perspective, right, I talked about the fact that uh, we want to be able to provide certain security measures as you're sharing these contracts, as you're sharing any other on-base content. And so this is my system administrative site. It's all tile-based. It has nothing, there's no training required. And so you don't have to dedicate anybody specifically to maintaining ShareBase. But this is where I can enforce certain sharing rights. And so when I enforce sharing rights for your on-base content, you can add some additional rights and say when the content does go out, should it be able to be downloaded or edited, brought back? Um, so you can set certain default rights for the different user groups. Should that content go out with password protection and how, how long should it live externally? 
and you can report on this. So as we talked about HIPAA compliance a little bit earlier, uh, there's a number of compliances that require you to show who has been uh, who has been given access to your content. And when you send emails, that's all you can say is, hey, I've sent a bunch of emails with these attachments, but you're able to actually report from ShareList to see what document was shared, what is the location of that file, who was shared with, how long is it going to uh, be available for externally, and was there a password or not. We have a case study that we just released with Fulton County Medical Center in Ohio who utilizes ShareBase to share patient-related information. And one of the features of ShareBase, this reporting supports their HIPAA compliance requirements. And we also have other customers who have put together their OnBase and ShareBase systems together. And their biggest uh, excitement was the fact that it all came from one content services provider. So rather than shopping a number of different vendors for each individual solutions you need, you're able to get it all from DTI. And they're able to both help you install it and configure it. And you're also working with one vendor, the, the service provider, but also the one software developer company as well. Any questions on the contract side? All right. So I also have a solution for HR that I wanted to show you where uh, this particular department chose to use it all by itself without the on-base interaction. Uh, they have plans in the future to connect it with their on-base, but today they wanted to utilize uh, ShareBase to bridge the gap in their new hire communication. So as you hire new employees, there's usually a waiting period before those employees can gain access into your intranets, before they come on site. But in this perspective, they wanted to provide certain files ahead of time, and they had a large remote workforce, so it was hard for them to try to figure out, how do I do this? Do I send a bunch of emails because the documents are just too big? So do I break it up? Uh, do I send them a, <laughs> a link? Do I send them my on uh, I'm sorry, like a personal Dropbox account? Uh, or do I wait till they're actually on site to gain access into it? So they decided to utilize ShareBase for this. Uh, these are actually live screenshots of this lady's solution where she has a bunch of different folders set up for uh, different information. And when she has a new hire that comes in, she actually reuses the same folder. And we allow you to create external links from the user interface with all of the security features we just talked about. There's an expiration capability. How long should that link be available for? If you know your employees coming on site, July 1st, August 1st, you can actually get very specific how long they have access to this. And you can even provide password capability if you want it. You could either type it in manually that would respect the password policy you as IT set up, or they could rely on ShareBase to generate a PIN uh, that comes back to the email. And when she shares this, she actually has a template in her email where she pops in that ShareBase link, and then the external recipient is able to get all of the information that they need to review with their family members. So if you think about all of, sorry about that. So if you think about your um, insurance choices, right? If maybe your spouse or significant other has uh, insurance and now you're trying to debate, do we go with mine? Do we go with that other person's insurance? Those are decisions you want to make before you come on site, not after the fact. And then again, this is that personal branding capability that you can also um, include. So that was an external experience for that incoming rep, but the HR person also has a local ShareBase folder. So if any of you uh, work with OneDrive or Dropbox, just as you can work locally on your files, ShareBase provides local access as well uh, for all of your content, especially if you need to take it offline. So when I travel, I have everything I need in my ShareBase folder on my desktop. When I connect to Wi-Fi, everything syncs. So it provides basically a backup to everything that I do. And you can also share right from that desktop capability. I press the button. Questions? Okay, there you go, sorry. Um, and then you can share right there from the desktop as well. So, you go have ahead. Like, I have multiple archives and various files, PDFs, and more documents and things from even from older versions of Word that have been stored for years. There's no roadblocks to transfer it into I mean, for this case, if you want to use your desktop, it's a drag and drop. I actually dragged all of my folder structures out of my network drive right into my ShareBase web application and the sync to the cloud. Yeah. And today, there's no storage cap either in ShareBase. I say today, you know, we're a software developer company, things change, 
but there is no software cap, not on users, not on the deployment. So you're able to use what you need. Awesome. I also wanted to then share how we utilize Sharebase here at Highland for our own financial audits. So I don't know how much you guys know about Highland as a company. Um, we are, our headquarters are located in West Lake, Ohio, that's Cleveland. We have about 3,200 employees now that are global. And so not only do we have a West Lake office, we have a number of US offices and international offices, but we're a privately held company. So while we don't have to adhere to some of the other standards that public companies do, we still have to show um, internal performance and just making sure that we are um, fiscally aware, right? Because we do have uh, a privately held company that invests into us. And so there's a number of different audits that we go through. I think there's uh, big four companies, uh, big four audit companies that come in and do our financial audits uh, of our US offices. We have additional audits of our UK entity in Singapore. And so there's a lot going on and we have our own internal audit department that maintains all of that. They do their own internal audits. They collaborate with the external parties. And they said anything and everything gets shared for these audits, right? Sales contract, payroll, any kind of invoices. And when they deployed Sharebase, uh, it was just within that one department when they started utilizing Sharebase, they said they shared over 5,500 documents just for one audit. Um, and I believe they said they do about eight of them throughout the year. So that was huge because in the past what was happening is that people were coming on site to do these audits. And as you can imagine, I'm disrupting your business today by being on your site. Can you, that's the same thing for the auditors when they're coming in and disrupting the business as well. Worse yet, whenever the auditors were coming and going, new people were coming in, they're making additional copies of the documents to gain visibility. So as you can imagine, it's just an explosion of extra files all over the place. So utilizing Sharebase, they were able to provide uh, again, that expiration on how long the content should be available. They had certain due dates for these audits. And they were also able to track the activity of who's looking at content. So in this fashion, similarly to what I just showed you in the HR example, they have a folder with certain invoices that needed to be looked at. They're able to create granular rights depending on who needs access to it. And then they can track activity within Sharebase as well. So that's both for internal and external people that are looking at your content. And then again, that idea of previewing the file right there in the web without downloading if you don't need to. So I know from the competitive products that that actually sets us apart to be able to preview right there, especially if you're dealing with somebody who might not have the certain software to open it. So we'll display most common file types in our preview. And we talked about the view only capabilities. So the, we provide a watermark overlay over your content. It doesn't actually interfere with the content, it's just an overlay. It can be either the IP address or the person's email address um, that then basically prohibits me from taking a screenshot. Notice on the top right, I don't have any action items. So it's not confusing. It's not like you see a download button where you're clicking and it's not working. And so this is actually a quote right from uh, Nancy R. A. V. P who said this was really easy to deploy and it was easy to pick up. So as I mentioned, not really a whole lot of training on how to utilize it. Um, and it was unquestionably their only go forward solution. I think you're supposed to say eat your own dog food. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if yeah. necessarily like it, but we do. We sure eat Did I say that in Poland? Yeah. No, like I wouldn't <laughs> reference. I'm Polish, by the way, but I wouldn't reference anything to eating the dog food. All right, so I'll wrap it up with a little sneak peek for a new functionality. Because this is a cloud product, we are able to be very agile at how we develop it, how we test it, and how quickly we roll it out. So OnBase, for instance, is rolled out about twice a year at this point, versus Sharebase gets rolled out every six to eight weeks. So I believe you're a developer as well, right? So we're able to move really quickly, and all of our feedback comes from customers who say this is my job, here's the tasks that I'm doing, like what else can I do to make it easier on myself, on my team? So uh, this is in beta right now at Highland. When it releases to our customers, it'll also be beta, really it just means, hey, this isn't the complete solution, but this is a start. So what the ask was, I have a job at hand, I wanna share content with somebody, but rather than creating a link, going to email, and still dealing with email, how could I do it all from Sharebase? So our answer to that is you're able to create a share either to an internal or external user. The system will know if that's your uh, assigned user or not. 
you're able to provide them a task, which in this case is just a box you fill out, and a due date. So the idea is that once I create this, I have a dashboard <laughs> where I can see what uh, I've created or what has been assigned to me, and then there's a notification that will go out to that external recipient or internal recipient. So they get an email that you can also uh, brand, and they get a quick little link that says, hey, this is where you go to complete the task. You open the document in the browser, the external recipient does, and when they take an action, you also get a notification in the system and an email notification. I think the email notifications are important because we don't live in the software all the time, right? I mean, I might just because I'm selling the service, I'm demoing all the time, but regular business users are not living in it every day. So they need a certain level of notifications. You see a little task pop up today, it's just a prove and deny, that's why I said overall out is beta, it's not a complete solution, but it's a step, it's the first step of providing access. And then when that task gets completed, I can also sort through content, I can uh, take a look at what has been done, I can add additional notes, and then again, having that dashboard, I can see the history of all the tasks completed and then the final person gets an email that says, hey, you've completed your task, you have 14 days to access this. For external recipients, it is a password protected access as well, and it's view only. So they're not able to download the content, they're just able to look at it and make a decision based on what they see. All right, so in a nutshell, uh, ShareBase is really there to help you share your content, collaborate on it, and really empower your users. Uh, and like I said, it can work by itself as your traditional file sync and share software, but it can also extend your current investments with OnBase and provide you sharing capabilities of your OnBase content. And I'm happy to share this presentation with Ryan, who can then do it as a follow-up too. We do have some quick demos on our website, so while I would prefer to talk to you, uh, but if you wanted to just glance real quick, we have a, a page where you can see what OnBase and ShareBase looks like, and then ShareBase by itself as well. All right, I thank you for your time.